Yeah. Hi, Marcos. Um, this is a um, line from Berlin to Miami to become uh, edited on, on view on the um, platform of the Dallas Art Fair and um, where we have a special with you. And now we are learning something about um, wall painting or um, the media of wall painting, but usually people on Art Fair don't see. And it's very, very interesting to learn something about the making and how all the commission gets started. Maybe you can talk a bit about it. About, well, we're sitting in front of a large wall that a client decided on having painted by me. Right. And due to COVID, we had like three starts that were canceled because of travel restrictions, etc. But now we're finally, I'm finally at the house, the owner left there in London and they gave me the house to transform it. And that's what I'm doing, which is really nice because there's a quite a bit of trust involved because I got a blank white wall and it looks like this now and it's almost finished. So it's a huge transformation of the whole space. Great. Where is this wall located in the house? It's basically the house has like an open floor plan. You walk in and it's kind of like a, a lower ceiling and then it opens up to a main room that is like triple high ceiling with huge windows. And um, the wall stretches basically from above the entry, open entry to the kitchen to the ceiling of the house. Wonderful. That's a tremendous space. Um, is it kind of normal that people would commission such a piece for their private home? Or is it something which would more likely take place in situations like lobbies of companies and so on? Yeah, I mean, it's like I did a few private things, but it's more, I did more uh, of these in like more public settings where it's like either a lobby or like a whole building outside or like a wall in a museum or an institution or even a gallery where I like, sometimes like to add this kind of work to the, to the show because it becomes a part of the architecture and it's like the same for everybody. So it's not just about having uh, works that are like going into the commercial uh, belly of the art market. Because the wall that I create in one space can never be taken away to a different space. It's like it's permanent in its location until it gets destroyed, which okay. happens to a lot of institutional pieces because they're temporary. Yes, sure. That's what we know. And the piece behind you or the new piece you have just been finishing or about to finish, um, was that, that kind of... Um, projected in a drawing by you so that the people who commissioned it would have like an idea which would get close or is it really like a blank paper you can well, so what I try to do is like I try to, to convince whoever it is that commissions the piece no matter if it's a private commission or a museum show or whatever I try to convince people look at my like done projects go to the website, study what I did, see what of the pieces that I have done already is kind of, would you like to envision something similar in your spot? Mm -hmm. And then um, I take it from there. But the condition is basically give me the blank wall. I'm not going to come with a, with a concept or with a drawing or with a proposal to just translate because I want the space where the piece grows into its own, become part of the decision-making, the light and the feel and all of that, you know? So I want, I'm, I'm ideally, I tell people they get the best work when I can work like that. And even when I did that giant uh, mural here in Miami for the outdoors, it was a blank canvas of 30,000 square feet that I uh, attacked basically. Yes, we know. <laughs> but it's also, yeah, and it's also, it's even like, in the, if I, like it's more, it's easier to convince like uh, people inside the art world 
uh, that writing galleries or institutions to give me the, the, the clean slate and with no um, proposal than um, a, a client who has something like this for their home and it's going to be permanent. So that's like, there's a little, there's a lot of trust involved in that. Yeah, and that's, that I appreciate that a lot. Great. And the paint you are using here, this is acrylic paint, right? It's, well, it's the acrylic binder, which is like dries, matte and clear. As you can, then uh, what I do, I have uh, my workspace on the floor and that's where I add the dry pigments into the binder to create any color I want, any translucency, any opacity that I want to achieve with that, um, with that like kind of line or that area that I'm painting. So it's entirely self-produced color, like in your paintings as well. With the yeah, sure. I mean, that's that's where the magic lies. You know, if you have like really great pigments, you can basically create any color you want. And I don't rely on store-bought products. <laughs> yeah, got it. And is there a difference between the out, the in and outdoor wall paintings in terms of using different types of material? Yeah, indoor as it's like there's no rain and it's mostly covered from UV, so it's a different story. Uh, outdoors, I have a different set of colors that are uh, pre-manufactured and mural proof. So that way the, the, the brightness and the, the quality of what you see is maintained over time. And also the outdoor pieces get, um, get coded with a UV coating. Mm -hmm. And would you say that like um, collectors who have commissioned this wall piece now for this house would in a first step um, buy like a linen brink painting, like a drip or drill painting, and then it goes on from there? Or is it a completely separate story for you? What's your experience? I know, I don't think these, those things are, are connected. Okay. That's good to learn because I was always thinking that there is a, first the knowledge about you and your work through the works one would see in an exhibition or during a... Well, in this case, it was, it, was, it was special because these people had this giant wall that they wanted to do something with. And then they learned about my, my, my wall works that I do and they like, considered it to be uh, something for, for their home. And that's how this came to, to, great. to be. Great. It's very straight, very direct. That's wonderful. Yeah. And um, we assume that there is a, a certain, um, how do you say, square feet amount, which then um, defines how much such, such a piece would cost? Yeah, I mean, the, the size definitely has like to do with, with the price of something like that, if somebody yes. commissions it, yeah. 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 But that was negotiated a long time ago. Yeah, yeah, okay. Just to get an idea, so if somebody would be interested, um, how the whole thing then uh, develops from the first step in f falling in love with such a type of piece, and then finally having one, which yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, the, those negotiations are like um, always part or like the first step. You know, once you like, okay, I want this. How much is going to be? Can I afford it? How do we do? And then there's like, you know, I did like a few things long time ago where I charged very little money, but it was like for institutions like schools where I'm like, this is a place where something like that has a real meaning. Sure. Beyond just my personal interest in it, you know? Great. Yeah. And you told that you are um, going to do a second piece also in Miami. Is this still the plan? Well, the, the one, one, once we came for a site visit and talked with the owners and looked through the house and around, the owner himself came up with the idea of also doing something on the outside of the same house. So basically, on, like, there's rooms behind those walls, but on the outside, so two walls over, the outside is like the, the spot for an, uh, an exterior mural that I'm going to do. Oh, wonderful. Once they have their permits in place, yeah. Great. 
So we are looking forward to see <laughs> images of this one when it became true as well. Marcus, yeah. thank you so much for uh, talking. No problem. About ah, okay. Well, that's good. Thank you so much. And then downstairs there is, can you see that? Yes, we can see it. Yeah. Yeah, so there's my workspace down there. Yeah. Okay. All right, now the film. Wonderful. All right. Have a good time. All the best. Talk soon. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs>